And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our first expedition of the day. Uh, we are about to embark because our adventure awaits, as you can see, I guess, I'm, okay, yeah, that is pointing the correct direction. Um, as you can see up on the screen there, uh, so y'all are probably uh, understanding our, our expeditions now. You know, it's Wednesday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we're doing these expeditions, uh, get a champion at the end, uh, you know, building that collection. And they're really fun to play and they're um, good ways to improve and learn a lot about the game as well. Um, so we're gonna be drafting it whenever uh, we embark. Um, we have the two trials and we'll start with trial number one. We're trying to get seven wins. That is the goal yesterday. Our two trials were, were both good. We got a five win and a six win trial. Didn't get seven though. So that's what we're gonna be trying to do here. All right. So um, our first champion, Darius is good, powerful, uh, Savage Reckoner, Legion, Grenadier. This is a good good pile. Like these are these are all um, above you know, like these are both above average uh, cards. Um, and yeah, Darius is just, it's just good. Playing Noxious is, uh, like Noxious is usually a pretty good place to be in these expeditions. You just make an aggressive deck. Um, you know, you don't have to really worry about interacting too much with the opponent. You're just trying to win quickly and they're, it's pretty powerful. So I like that. We can go Yasuo and try to build around stun and recall. You see, it was pretty pop, uh, powerful if you can get enough stun and recall. We also have a blade twirler for stun and recall, and then a will of Ionia, which is a good card. So, if we want to go synergy based and try to build maybe a deck that has higher potential than the Noxus deck, if we go with all the synergy and everything, we can go Yasuo. Um, but there's a, there's a more of a downside, right? Like. Basically, building a Darius deck, you're probably going to have, like, you know, you can build, like, a 78 to 80 um, out of 100 kind of deck, um, or, you know, like a 7 or 8 out of 10, um, but you're not, you're probably not going to get, like, the, the 9 or 10, where Yasuo, you know, maybe you get, like, a 9, but you're probably not getting a 10. Yasuo, you could get to, like, a 10 and maybe a 9, but then you could also get, like, a 4 or a 5 if the cards don't show up. And then Heimerdinger, which is kind of similar to this Yasuo, um, but even more powerful. Uh, so like this kind of deck, like, like you see how you maybe we get to get to like a, a nine kind of thing. Heimerdinger, you can probably get to a 10. Um, you can get some awesome, like Heimerdinger is just, you know, maybe the most powerful singular card in Legends of Runeterra. Flash of Brilliance is the best card to go along with Heimerdinger also. Those two are great, great combination. Accelerate Pursuit isn't very good though. It's, it's a very, very slow win condition, which you don't really need a slow win condition when you have Heimerdinger, because Heimerdinger is your slow win condition already. Um, so this this one, where you get like two good cards that go together and so on. I haven't played a Noxus deck in a, in a draft in a while. So I'm going to go with the Darius. Um, yeah, yeah, Ravalki has a good... Ye, like an A, like Yesuo. Or Yasuo. That's, I think I said like Yasuo to begin with, but then people were saying that I... I don't know. I need to listen to somebody else pronounce this, I guess. It's hard like with the words. I need... I'll, I'll try to figure that out. Um, but yeah, no, Rav Volke has a good good call saying that um, if you... You know, Heimerdinger is great if you draw Heimerdinger. But if you don't draw Heimerdinger, your deck's not going to work as well. Emphasis on the ah. So Yasuo. Good. Oops. So it's like Yasuo. Like that. Yeah, Wave of Thor. Yes, this is an open beta. Um, 
uh, yeah, it's it's been open beta for about about five weeks now. But yeah, so it's open to the public. Just just uh, you know, Google Legends of Runeterra. It is awesome. Wave it there. Yeah, definitely go check it out. Okay, um, so next bucket. So we can get another Noxus bucket and go heavy Noxus and get Draven with Darius. And then we also get Precious Pet, House Spider. Those cards are pretty good. Um, I am all for that. I, I have found that like just having it, it, it doesn't happen very often, but sometimes when you take a region, you get the other region alongside with it again. It doesn't happen very often, but I've found that those decks are usually pretty powerful because you can get um, a really high synergy deck. So you can get so many of the same cards and that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, I, I just want to keep this. Yeah, I want to keep it, keep it in the family here. Kind of go with the same region. Otherwise, uh, Zed is probably a little bit better than Draven, and Twin Disciplines and Will of Ionia are two really good tricks. So like this, this would not be bad to go the discipline route either. We're not real like Ezreal and Noxus. I mean, I guess they kind of work. Boom Crew Rookie works really well with uh, Noxus stuff, and you can get like the burn spells and P and Z. Um, and Ezreal, you know, like you hit, you hit, you know, it has elusive. You hit the opponent, you get a a, uh, a Mystic Shot. This wouldn't be a bad one either. So actually, really, all three of these options are very good, to be honest. <clears throat> like they're all they're all good options. I've never seen an all noxious deck, and I want to try it. So, oh, Draven and Darius are brothers. So let the brothers carry you. Nice. Okay, let's do it. All right. So we're gonna be we're trying gonna try to be very aggressive. Now we got Noxion Guillotine, kill a damage unit. You can cast it again this this round. It's okay. It's not bad. Arachnid Host, when I'm summoned, grant other spider allies plus two, plus zero. Usually I'd want to kind of move away from, like, I don't really want Arachnid Host, but we do have the two spiders, but eh, I still don't really want that. Uh, we have Might, give an ally plus three, plus zero, and Overwhelm, and Shield Breaker. That sounds pretty good. But this last one is actually, like, these are good cards too. Thermogenic Beam's a good removal spell, and then Augmented Experimenter is really good. You know, discard your hand, draw three. Especially if you're playing like a really low to the ground deck and uh, are real aggressive, you empty your hand and then boom, play Experimenter. It's a six mana draw three, plus deal three to enemy unit and plus get a three three. That's actually really good. So this this column scrap heap is better than the Noxion Might, but I may just take this Noxion Might just to, just to have complete Noxus. What do y'all think? Like, this one's better, but it would make me go P and Z also. This, we could just kind of go just all Noxus. And, you know, just kind of see what happens. What are y'all thinking? Yeah, PNZ does give us removal. Yep. PNZ gives us removal. Um, might, yeah, might is good. Might's, you know, like, good trick. You know, like, we do want tricks. And, and there, it's not like there's not removal in Noxus. I'm going to just go with this middle one and just see what happens if we just make a Noxus deck. Be the test test case here. Legion Drummer, I like I like Legion Drummer, good two drop. I don't really want another Shield Breaker already. Glory Seeker is also a good two drop, and Sentry is a good three drop. So we're gonna take the disruption. You know, get get uh, some removal, some stun. You know, we're gonna want some disruption. Okay, so we can go for the spiders, get another sentry and a precious pet. Nothing wrong with that. Go Disruption, we get Legion Drummer, good card, and Decisive Maneuver. Stun an enemy, give all allies plus two, plus zero this round. Or Noxion Might with the Grenadier and Might. These are all pretty good. I'm kind of leaning towards the Noxion Might. And get another, you know, get another Might. Might can, you know, pair with, 
you know, just these creatures, you know, like Glory Seeker, and so might make it eight, <laughs> eight trample, everything like that. Uh, might is awesome with Draven with the quick attack. I do need, I do want, like, if we're going to be an aggressive Noxious deck, we do want one drops. So, like, this this one does have a good one drop. Like, Precious Pet is a very good one drop. And Sentry, you know, stuns an enemy. Like, that's that's a good card, too. Um, so, I could see going, going this route instead. Let's see, right now we got three twos, one one. I'll go, I'll go with the Noxion Might. Okay. Double aw awesome one drop. Yes, please. Or five mana and a three mana. While Whirling Death is really, really good, I want two really good one drops. I'm going to take the, the two legions, the rear guard and the saboteur. Um, all right. Hopeful. You know, two mana, five, two. <laughs> Uh, Basilisk Rotter, Allegiance, Grant, plus one, plus one, and Overwhelm. So it's a four mana, six, three. Overwhelm. Pretty good. We got a Sentry, which is good. Uh, four mana, three, three, ideal damage, double damage to the Nexus. Hmm. The, the two Mites that we have do make this Shiraz of the Blade better, but I don't, I don't necessarily love it. And then we have Battlecaster, which is my favorite card out of all of these, but then Arachnid Host, which is kind of like one of my least favorite cards out of all of these. Maybe my, yeah, I'm, I really want that Battlecaster. To take the Battlecaster, we have to take Arachnid Host. Well, maybe worth it. I think it's probably either that one or the Noxion Might. Uh, I think it's either Battlecaster with Host or take Hopeful, which is worse than Battlecaster, but then you get Basilisk Rider, and Basilisk Rider is pretty good. 6-3 Overwhelm for 4. That's actually pretty good stats. Like, you know, you're attacking for 6 Trample on turn 4. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, Host is good if we pick up more Spiders, but I don't know if I really want to pick up more Spiders. Like... I guess if I get, you know, like more house spiders, house spider and battle cast to work well together. I think I want to go this route. I'm going to I'm going to try this Basilisk Rider. I also have no four drops. That is true. Hopeful if we get some drummers can be really good. That's true. And just, you know, having five twos make again makes might better. Ooh. Well, I like Legion Rear Guard and Crowd Favorite. Crowd Favorite is awesome. Um, Hopeful and Whirling Death is also really good because Whirling Death is awesome. And then Whirling Death and Crimson Aristocrat, also good. Whew. I, I kind of feel like Crowd Favorite just wins games. I'm going to go with the first one. Playing against Noxus decks and playing playing with them more, I, I am getting much, a pretty big appreciation for Crowd Favorite. We could probably use some more spells though, as you can see over here. But if we're gonna if we're gonna have all sorts of units, we want to get ahead and having more one drops. Crawfire helps us do that. Ooh, okay. This is a tough choice. All of our picks are pretty good though. So Grenadier is a good two drop and then trifarian is an awesome three drop you know it's just so big or we can get an awesome one drop with saboteur and then brother's bond which is a great trick brother's bond is real good I, and especially where we're at with spells i really like this brother's bond and then house spider is not bad at all and arachnoid sentry is not bad at all so like none of these are bad um i think i'm going to go with the middle column to get the brother's bond We don't really have like the smallest creatures anyway, though. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna take the. I'm gonna take the brother's bond.
Need to fish for might. Yeah, we got the two might so far. Um, Crimson Aristocrat, Crimson Disciple. Perfectly reasonable two drops. Guile, Stunned Enemy, and Glory Seeker. Guile doesn't seem amazing, but I guess I guess that the best use of Guile is like turn three, you play your two drop, they play their three drop, and then you Guile it, and then you get to attack unblocked, but then you just use a card for that. That doesn't sound that doesn't seem great. Glory Seeker is good removal though. This is basically a removal spell. That's what you you know, you take like their three three, their four four, anything like that. Like this is basically Trifarian Glory Seeker is basically Lava Coil, if you think about it. And then uh, Legion Rear Guard, Draven's biggest fan. I mean, so two more good one-drops. I think I've, I like the one-drops. Um, Draven's biggest fan is a good one, too, because it moves the Draven to the top. So, you know, we get to draw Draven and get to curve out with Draven. If that Guile was, like, a better card... I'd take that, but it wasn't a better card. Yeah, at least at least for the for a little while in Gen Creation, I've been playing this Legends of Runeterra game, that is awesome. And I, you know, I just I just been really enjoying playing this game. And like it more than Magic. I wrote about that. Um, about a week ago gosh maybe closer to 10 days ago i guess probably about 10 days ago why legends of terror is is awesome all right let's see so we got um we got some good options here we got basilisk rider like it, it's good to have a lot of one drops but we have we have seven one drops right now. I wouldn't mind another Basilis Rider. I like that card. And you like our you know, like try to get a couple more of like these mid-range creatures, the four, five, sixes. But honestly, I don't really want Decimate. You know, just lava axe here. I don't I don't really want Decimate. I don't know. Maybe I should be taking Decimate. Otherwise, we could take another Saboteur which is good still and then a trifarian which is an awesome um which is an awesome three drop and then uh guile legion drummer i like legion drummer a ton and we have a lot of good stuff for legion drummer glory seekers hopefuls the guile is my least favorite card out of all six Hmm. It's a tough choice. Early on in the draft, I would take I would take this middle route. Uh, take Saboteur and Trifarian. However, where we're at now that I have already acquired, um, you think I do need Decimate? Now I've already acquired the seven one drops, and like we're already so that we're pretty good there. I do kind of want a little bit more power at the top end. So yeah, all right, we'll try decimate because I like Basilisk Rider, getting that overwhelm. All right, we'll we'll do that. Um. Well, now I can just take that that same pile that like I'm glad we took that pile because. You know, now we still get the Saboteur, Saboteur and Trifarian. I like that more than Rear Guard and Hopeful, and more than the Crimson card. So, all right, Saboteur, Trifarian. Ooh. All right, so we get another Saboteur, Trifarian, Assessor, and Hopeful. Or Decisive Maneuver and Minotaur Reckonar. So this is kind of tough. I'm not going to take the first column. We have Minotaur Reckonar, which is a complete bomb. So like that's where my eyes went immediately. 
But then Trifarian Assessor could be really good too. So draw a card for each five plus power ally you have. Well, let's look here. We have one, two, because that's a five, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <clears throat> nine of our 26 cards right now are five plus power and then it would pair with this it would be 10 you know we'd have 10 five plus power things that's you know not including you know brothers bond and stuff like that so like this could be a, a big time draw spell but honestly minotaur reckoner is just so much of a bomb i think i'm going to just take the minotaur reckoner and Then we'll get decisive maneuver as well. Yeah, it's yeah, I agree with decisive maneuver. It does have that flaw that um you know you stun the enemy, but the enemy still gets to block. I don't love it, but just reckoner is just so good that I'm I'm just taking the reckoner because of how good that card is. All right, rear guard hopeful, good one and two. Um, Marauder, Marauder is awesome. If you get more Marauders, it gets even better. We haven't seen any Marauders though, and Savage Reckoner, great seven drop. We already got one of those though. We're being a little more aggressive than that. Cato the Arm, give your support ally plus three plus zero and overwhelm and Arena Bookie. Start of the round, discard your lowest cost card and draw one. I don't know if that card's that good especially in our deck our cards are kind of inter interchangeable three mana two one five mana five three like these are these are below the curve bodies um thanks socal thanks socal Sal. yeah hope you check it out So rear guard or hopeful? Oh, sorry, rear guard and hopeful or marauder and reckoner. So this, you know, this is more power. Three mana, four three that attacks the first time. I wish I had more legion marauders, and this is my last pick. So I'm not getting. You know, we can do some more trades. Like maybe we trade for some legion marauders. Um, I think I'm just going to take the rear guard and hopeful. I don't know. Do have a lot of those. The thing about taking rear guard and hopeful, like the reason why, even though we have a whole lot of ones and twos is it does make it easier for us to trade away ones and twos for other stuff with the, with the trades. Cause remember we get to get to trade. So we can just get a good base of, um, good base of those. I have, I do have two mites. I don't really like Arena Bookie though. Hmm. You got like six or seven Legion Marauders and one draft ones? Dang. I'm jealous. Let's see what these votes are. Okay. Mostly y'all are voting for these two. Nobody's voted for, for this one, so I guess I'm gonna go this route. I don't I don't really I don't really like Arena Bookie. All right, uh, we can trade Decimate for Minotaur Reckoner. Man, Minotaur Reckoner is just so good. Trade Sentry for Savage Reckoner. And then trade House Spider for Reckless Trifarian. Maybe. We can do that one too, but... No, I'm just going to take another Minotaur Reckoner. That card is just awesome. Sorry, Decimate. All right, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting how this works out. There's no ones. Timo Ezreal. I'm gonna keep one of the twos and I'm shipping the other three back. I'm just debating which which two's better to keep, House Spider or Grenadier against 
Timo Ezreal. Maybe it's better to go wide with House Spider. No, I'm gonna just take the Grenadier. There we go. There's a one drop. The chains, they never stop. Mm, wish I would have taken the spider. I've got to get out of here. Grenadier does not pair well, or does not get through Warden's Prey. Stunned. That works out pretty well, because they have the two spell mana. They wanted to hit me with Ezreal and then be able to shoot something, and now they can't do that. So I can just go straight to attacks. No, I'm going to play stuff. I have my orders. Yeah, I've switched I have switched to this primarily. Um reporting in. Been kinda wanting to change games for magic for a, a long time and this game came out and it's just awesome and, and I just really like this game more. So I I wouldn't necessarily say that I'm done with it, deep fried, but at least momentarily. You know, at least for for the time being. Um, any guides in the works for Runeterra? I do need to write guides for Runeterra. I, I would like to do that. What was that card they played? Because it destroyed me. Withering Whale? Yeah, that Withering Whale wrecked me. A mushroom. Have three. The party has a rat. Look out! Gotcha. It looks daunting. Okay. Yeah. Well, have you gone through like the tutorial yet? Okay. Ready. Excuse you. What a mushroom help. Um. Yeah. Once you go go through the tutorials, and you know you can put. Uh, if you watch like my videos that whenever I started this game, I played through the tutorials, and um. Yeah, you know that's that's like my first YouTube video with with this, um, but then you know I, I was playing ranked like right away with just like the starter decks and everything and and doing uh, fairly well. So it, it's a game that you can just start playing right away and even in ranked. But um, uh, you do get like XP from playing against. Um, from playing against the AI also, if you want to just, you know, play against the AI for a few days and, and get used to it and everything. Her, there was a little fella asking for me. Where's my axe? Run away, Mike!
I guess I should I should have played this three two. Not so fast. No, S. Byler, no, I'm just playing. Uh, no, I'm I'm playing Legends of Runeterra. This is what I want to be doing. Yeah, AI is pretty respectable, yeah. Not bad at all. It's Draven time. This game was over after that Withering Whale. As y'all said in chat, like that Withering Whale Firing. was game winning. Got past me. So I, th I need them just to not block whatsoever. Oh, that's a good one. Think that's gonna happen? Right I think they'll just take nine. Doesn't look like it. First. Yeah, yeah, burn's definitely a thing. Yep. Charged. They grow up. All right, lost our first one. Oh, I, I wrote down 1-0. and 0. I meant 0-1. Whoops, wrote that down wrong. Yeah, burn's definitely a thing in this deck, or in this game. Okay. I'm going to do this second trade. Get rid of the Draven's biggest fan and get another crowd favorite. Do still think crowd favorite's a very strong... I want that card. I mean, Spiral, it's, it's stuff I wrote about like last month on in the the Discord channel. But for a long for a long time, I've, I've wanted to I've wanted to move away from Magic for a long time, but I just didn't really have any other any other thing else. And this you know this game came out. I moved. I I really looked into this game and and started playing it. Like it a lot and. I just want to make the switch. Perfect. That's a great draw. Where's my axe? Hmm. Surprised they passed at first. No one's the wiser. The reason not to attack with these is, you know, not to trade them off so the crowd favorites can be bigger. They cannot strike what they cannot see. The advantage is mine. So my board was never bigger than three units. Well, I mean, I had I I played I had six units that one turn, and then they played the they played the sweeper right after I played my sixth creature. That won him that last game. Check out these moves. This is a shake up. I'll do better this time. 
Everything's in place. Probably should switch the the one drop, the one man and the one drop in the two two. Reporting in. <clears throat> hey, hey, Rax, what's up? So Reckoner or Saboteur plus crowd favorite? Reckoner. Oh no, you went uh oh, you only went one you went one win and four win with your expeditions yesterday. Yeah, expeditions are tough. They are tough. That doesn't seem like the best thing to be doing. Lady Elise, where are you? I guess they just had a bunch of glimpse beyonds in hand. So they spend enough mana that I don't have to worry about ruination. I honestly don't think they'll have something that punishes me for playing a 7-7 seven, seven Trampler. Like, no, like a 5-5 five, five is not as good as a 7-7 seven, seven Trampler, so. Okay, ready. Okay. All right, let's go to damage. Pick up the win. All right, Noxion Might. His hand was a lot better. You know, we actually got, you know, we got our um, our crowd favorites. They were awesome. We got the Reckoner. It was awesome. Last time we did just get too many of the one toughness things and then got Withering Wailed right after that. And that really hurt. Oh, no, I need 25 more XP. So close. All right, Darius, Draven, or Katarina. Right now we got one. We got one Draven, one Darius. Um, Darius comes along with Might, which is great, and Trifarian, which is great. Draven comes along with Reckoner and Trifarian. I think I'd rather have Might than Reckoner with you know with our unit to spell ratio right now. I'd rather have Might. Katarina comes along with Might and Whirling Death. I do like Might and Whirling Death more than Might and Reckless Trifarian, again, because of our spells. So I kind of am leaning towards this Katarina. Yeah, basically, yeah, voting for Whirling Death. I think Katarina's awesome in Expeditions. I, I have been really impressed with Katarina playing against her. Like, she's always looked really good. It's it, I'm always like, man, how do I stop Katarina? Getting extra, you know, recall, then we get to rally in this deck... Being able to, you know, rally all the time does sound very enticing. So let's let's try Katarina and then but yeah, we get whirling death and might. Get a couple more spells. We got enough creatures. Yeah, good question, Dorts. How's it different from MTG and Hearthstone? The the main the main difference, I would say, is how turns work. It makes the this game is much more balanced than yeah, I'll just keep this hand. Then MTG and Hearthstone, because it's not like if like they're on the play, but it's not like it's not a big advantage of being on the play or on the draw. I guess by them being on the play, it's like they they get to attack first. The turns are like you share turns. Like every turn is this is just turn one. They play a creature. That means I get to respond and I can play a creature. And so it's not like you know one person has like the mana and they play stuff and the other person just sits there. We got a mirror match. We got an all Noxus mirror match. Ready. 
Rose's leg. This will shake him. Sure about that? So option option one is play sentry and stun the draven so it doesn't attack us. Option two is go wide, play these two, get four creatures out, untap, play a 6-6 six, six crowd favorite. Then attack in. gonna hurt for you hold the line Break. damn it All right, we'll see how this goes. Bet you I kill more of them. Oh, it's on. Hmm. This is not good. It's not good at all. Where's my axe? Uh, it's Draven time. There's no accounting for tape. I'll do better this time. Wow. Okay. That's not a good attack by them. They should attack. Like, Katarina needs to be attacking. Oh, I guess that they want to have Katarina on defense, I guess. I think this is, like, my best chance of trying to win here. It's, it's a real interesting part of the game of, of, you know, like, when going to combat. You know, like, when you're the active player, you get to, you know, like, I chose just to go straight into combat. Like, there's not, like, a, a specified combat step. I could have played the rear guard first, but if I play the rear guard, then they, you know, whenever I do an action, they get an action. Oh, that block just left them dead on board. I didn't even need the might. That was not a good block. All right, got our champion wild card. All right, let's see. So we can trade House Spider for Grenadier. It's not really much of a trade. Shield Breaker for Trifarian. Not much of a trade either. Precious Pet for Glory Seeker. Probably want to do that last one. If I trade the Precious Pet, we still have seven one-drops. But then Glory Seeker can just be more removal for champions. We have just the one Glory Seeker right now. 
And then, of course, we have we have three mites now, and mites are also very good with Glory Seeker. We're going to do this last trade. All right, reward time. Champion wild card. Awesome. All right, let's change regions. Uh, I'm actually going to go towards Noxus. I was looking at this earlier, so we're going to activate the Noxus region now. And so now we're going to work on our on getting Noxus cards. Love the reward system in this game. Get so much stuff. All right, it looks like I'm really close to a golden chest, too. All right, let's see. Ezreal, Garen. I think I'm just going to keep the rest of these. Yeah. Because Glory Seeker is not really like a, a two drop that we'd want to play on turn two. It's more of like a two drop to play. Um... Okay, ready. <laughs> I'm ashamed to confess that I've completed Noxus and totally abandoned Demacia. <laughs> <laughs> um, like I said, this is like a, a removal spell to play later on. The ocean calls. Death doesn't scare me. I'm just gonna block like that. That one three is gonna block my three one anyway. Does free up my ability to my potentially, you know, get like a glory seeker in there. I need just a moment. Glory See, look at that. Mine. Get the two four. I'll do better this time. And they're down to nine. <laughs> no, no, our deck is not an Elnuk expedition deck. Elnuks are Freljord. They're the blue region. Firing. Okay, ready. I wish I had one more mana. I wish I could play both of these mites. Saboteur is just going to die. It's Ezreal. I'm saving the mana for it. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. Watch and learn. Gotcha. No, no, they have to 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 play the Elnux. All, the Elnux are in the Freljord region, so they're they're not playing Elnux. All right, feel pretty good about uh, finishing this game out. We'll see, though. We'll see. But I feel pretty good about it. Hmm. 
cool. So my five five trampler, you know, I used that on my turn. They got they just got a two four. So that's me getting an extra damage. So I didn't do spider first because if I did spider first, so as you see there, I had three extra mana. If I did the spider first, then I didn't have mana for the other might. And I wanted I wanted mana for the other might more than the spider in play. Ooh, so we're real close. Like maybe just like one win or two from that golden chest. And third win, so we get we get another champion with three wins. Hey, uh, Vinton, Vinton, uh, maybe, um, I haven't really decided that yet, but for now, no, I like Legends of Runeterra more than Magic, and I wrote a Google Doc about why Legends of Runeterra is so good. This new game, I recommend checking it out. I like this Darius bucket. I mean, I like getting another Glory Seeker. We saw that game, how Glory Seeker is pretty important, and Trifarian Assessor could draw us a lot of cards, potentially. Draven gets us Noxious Guillotine, so it gets us another spell, which is useful, because we do have... We could definitely use more spells, but it's, it's not necessarily my favorite spell, to be honest. But it's another spell. And I don't love Reckoner. Reckoner is pretty expensive. But it's okay. It's it's a good card. It's just expensive. And then we got Katarina, which gets us Culling Strike, which is all right. And Decisive Maneuver, which I honestly don't really like Decisive Maneuver. I kind of wanted Draven or Katarina more than Darius, but I think as far as the buckets go, I think the Darius one is just the best. All right, so we got two three mana champions, one one Draven, one Katarina, and two six mana champions with the two Dariuses. Hmm, I need one drops. I mean, Whirling Death is a good spell, but I really want a one-drop. Uh, do I get rid of one? Of no, we'll just go with this. So this gives me three th three looks at a one-drop. There we go. What do you call that technique? And punch. We practice. I'll do better this time. Wow. Got big plans for these sparring students. It looks like they're they're a pretty ephemeral deck, so they may play you know like the, the ephemeral stuff and get a bunch of creatures and make these things really big. Like haunted relic. Good card. No one's the wiser. The balance wills it. Hold the line. Two, four, six, twelve, down to seven. Heck of a turn.
But they're left with three cards just like me. And just one creature in play to my two. Yeah, that was, that was a crazy turn three for sure. We'll go with the crowd favorite. Worst case scenario is they have death mark. The Yordle here is with me. That's not a great case scenario either. The elusive creature. Okay. Not bad. Hey Krabby. That's my resting face. That's pretty bad. They'll never see us coming. Timing is everything. You must get by these first. So I need to make sure if they would have made that lethal, then I would have, you know, use the, use the stun. Man, their hand was really good. Basically doing this, like the first part now doesn't matter anymore. So all, all this is is give all allies plus two plus zero this round. Hey QQ, good afternoon. They have a drain three also. So I assume that they aren't blocking now. If I play this, do they then get to block? I mean, I hope not. I mean, I guess I mean it's my only op it's my only way to to possibly win this. Okay, you're saying no. I mean, no, if this does win. I guess I didn't even count it up if it does. Uh yes, it does. We do have lethal if they have nothing. All right. Wow. Their hand was incredible. Us winning that one was pretty insane. Guess, guess shouldn't, uh, uh, just one. Shouldn't talk bad about that. Uh, that five drop, what was that card? Decisive maneuver. Okay, so I can trade a Grenadier for another Decisive Maneuver. No, thank you. The one's enough. Trade a Saboteur for a Trifarian or a Rear Guard for a Reckoner. I don't really like any of these trades, honestly. I'm not going to do any of them. Skip. Let's see. No one drops. We have not been on the... We have not had the attack token turn one in any of these games.
Hopeful is the, the high upside play. The five two. But yeah, would it it would have just traded with the clump of lumps. Um I'm thinking maybe I could have like Glory Seeker and like protect Hopeful somehow. Maybe. We'll kinda see. Our deck is brutal. Oh no, I didn't. I didn't. I've had a super busy day today. Um, and so no, I did not see Storm's post in the pet section. Ouch. Well, that was a great turn for them. I thought my two two drops, two mana cards were going to be really good, but they also had two really good two mana cards. I mean, it's just, they're just going to trade. Okay. Let me go check it out. Aww. That's such a little kitten. Under the covers. Don't blink or you'll miss me. So I wanted to play Basilisk Rider this turn, but of course I didn't want the Ezreal to hit me and then just take out one of these things for free. Yeah, definitely. I want. Yep, I want to save Darius for for make sure Darius is going to be the ten five. So we'll play the crowd favorite first. Obstacle, me gauntlet. Vandal scouts are never afraid. Dang, they've had a good hand. They're going to be left with one creature. They'll have their two, including an Ezreal. Yep, and that's also true. So yeah, before my, my whole battlefield goes away, better play the crowd favorite then. I don't miss. Can't stop me. It's kind of risky just to click pass. Yeah, 
I didn't think they would waste that. They will bleed for Noxus. I'll handle this myself. Hello, Zon! <laughs> hmm. Straight to attacks or play two other big things like you know Draven and a shield breaker. If I fall, so be it. Guess I'll go straight to attacks. Get off my stage. You think they have another get excited in hand? Nope. Alright, sweet. Five and one. Our deck's pretty good. Golden chest. Let's get some more Noxus cards. Alright, we can trade Reckoner for Whirling Death. I really don't want to trade Reckoner. Sentry for Decisive Maneuver. House Spider for Savage Reckoner. Man, these are not good trades. Can I trade, like, the, the House Spider for the Whirling Death? I'm not going to do any of these. Unfortunately, we don't get to do any trades. Whoa, that was not a good golden chest. There's a lot of Noxus cards I don't have. But we just got three commons that I do have. So we got uh, 45 shards and then a rare that I do have. So 60 shards. So 105 shards, which which 100 shards is a common. So, you know, I, I basically get like a common wild card for all those. I'd rather have like the rare and the other commons. But of course, you also get the other 245 shards in the chest as well all right so we're going towards an epic capsule and then an epic a wow capsule and so on hey yeah guess i'm an aggro player i do like the noxus cards in uh in this game like i, I like the that region. They're pretty strong. <clears throat> Keep. We get the attack token turn one. We haven't had that in a while. Reporting in. I'll do better this time. Hey, Lead Farmer. Yeah, I've basically... For the Empire. You know, Legends of Rotary game's been out for about five weeks or so. I'm a big believer in it. It's awesome. It's a lot of fun to play. And I like it more than Magic. And so I've switched over. And I wrote about Ready? that about ten days ago or so in that Google document. If you haven't checked out Legends of Rotary, I recommend checking it out. So we got some big hits in already, down to nine. I don't really have anything for round for turn four here, but that's not the it's not the worst thing. That was a, that was a good draw. Faster than my arrow? I think not. Because they're probably going to attack with both Challenger there. That gets frost bit. And then I might and give this plus three, and so then they trade. So I can basically use the might to kill the the, the rhyme fang wolf. Um, is that my best use of the might? Is my question.
Yeah, that's that's the other thing. Is like, should I should I do that or should I just let this happen? But then they get to if I don't do that, then the rhyme thing like blocks. So it's so it's also saving life because then it gets to like, you know, block like my rear guard or or whatever. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and do it. The time is right. Strike now. Cool. I will trade might for for the frostbite. That's a good trade, especially when the frostbite. You know, I didn't want them to frostbite. You know, glory seeker or shield breaker. So that that's definitely a good trade. You're welcome, Lead Farmer. That's not what I was expecting. All right, down to three. Can we get three more points of damage across? Oh, Darius turns into a decimate? Well, that, that'll make my life a little easier. Yeah, I could definitely see harsh winds on these two. No one's the wiser. I'm gonna play this first. I'll lead us to victory. That didn't work out. I mean, it did work out because they can't. They have one mana, so they can't survive this. I should have just attacked with this Legion Saboteur anyway, just to deal the one point of damage. Oh, no, 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 I was kind of instinctively started to play that, and I was like, no, what am I doing? I don't want to play that. I don't want to play it. Ooh, that was so close. <laughs> We've only spent four spell mana. We're not... We're not uh, too much about spending spell mana with this deck. Shield Breaker for Elixir of Wrath? Nah. Whirling Death for Rear Guard? No. And then Katarina for Vladimir? No. Man, we are not doing any of these trades. Uh, we get six trades, though. So Draven for Katarina. It's interesting. Oh, the Yeti not deal damage? Okay, because it was Whirling Death, right? So yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't single combat. Right, okay. So yeah, no, I would have been fine. Okay. Hey, what's up, Rochian? Uh, Grenadier for Trifarian, Decisive Maneuver for Glory Seeker. <laughs> My schemes are ending. <laughs> Thanks, Rochian. Uh, let's see. Oh, I need to reset the sub goal. Forgot to do that with that sub goal being in the corner. That's our first of the day. Uh, what do y'all think of Draven versus Katarina? I 
I could also see getting rid of Grenadier for Trifarian. I have two, two Grenadiers, one Trifarian. I'm not doing the last one. Ooh. Yeah, for, yeah, I need to open up this window, check these votes. I have to basically open up my own stream to watch my stream so I can see the votes also. Yeah, everybody's voting for that top one. I think Draven is weak in, in Expedition and Katarina is better. Okay. All right, everybody wants to do this first one. Let's do it. Okay, uh, trading away Brothers Bond. Oh, I forgot we had Brothers Bond in the deck. That card's cool, but no, I do not want to do that. Rear Guard for Saboteur. Meh. Basically the same card. Whatever. Trade away Basilisk Rider for Trifer Trifarian. No. Skip. I do not want to trade away Katarina for Vladimir. Stop asking me. No, I'm not trading away Reckoner. Okay, we can maybe do this last one. Trade away a saboteur for a might. I'm I have seven one drops right now. You see, drawing the one drops are really important though. I'm not sure if I want to go down to six. I probably don't want to go down to six. I probably want to keep it seven. So if we go down to six, that means it would be one out of six cards. Would be a one drop. We got three mites. I think that's okay. I'm gonna skip. Um Okay, we're not doing the we're not doing the middle. I could see maybe doing the first or the last. Um, I've been happy with the house spider. The house spider has been pretty good. What about this one? The sentry has actually been kind of good for us too. But maybe whirling death would be better. <laughs> yeah, the three mites is okay. I have one Whirling Death, one Sentry, and I have one House Spider, one Trifarian. So basically, do I have one copy of all four of these cards. Do I want to get rid of one of these spiders and pick up an extra one of either of those? Yeah, it is a tough call. It is a tough call. If I get rid of the sentry, then three mana creatures, I just have one Trifarian, two Katarinas. So I only have three three mana creatures if I get rid of the sentry. Hmm. This is a tough call. I'm going to do it. I'm going to take the Whirling Death. All right. Now let's trade back. Let's trade a Whirling Death for a Sentry. <laughs> uh, I could get rid of the Assessor and get a Culling Strike. Or I could get rid of the Trifarian and get a Crowd Favorite. I would definitely do this last one here if I didn't just do that, that other one. But I just got rid of a three-mana creature. I don't know if I want to get rid of another three-mana creature again. Hmm. I kind of wish I had Sentry and Crowd Favorite instead of Whirling Death and Trifarian, but... Yeah, like, I, I really don't... I, I don't think I can get rid of another 3-drop. I know, Crowd Favorite has just been winning us games, though. Crowd Favorite has just been winning us games. It's so it's so good. I guess my uh, my turn three can just be you know another one drop and a two drop. Because for crowd favorite you want to like double spell anyway, so you want to play like right now we're at seven ones one two three four five six seven eight eight twos. We're at eight two seven ones. It's like ideally we go one, one drop, two drop, and then two drop, one drop, 
and then crowd favorite. That's ideally. That's ideal. This is such a hard call. This is how good crowd favorite's been. I'm going to skip it, though. All right, final battle. We lost our final battle yesterday. Oh, that's my pick. Let's get our, our final boss playlist. Here we go. All right, let's see. Timo Trindamir. Let's go. Yeah, this is like a draft. Yep. No, this is a, this is a, a draft. Hey, Harvey. Charged up and ready to go. Three, one, quick attack. Hi, Harvey. Where's my axe? There's puppy. Sharpen the blades, secure the kill. Ah, these mystic shots. I don't like them. All right, so what do they got? Go on over here. That was not good. Not good. I am banking three mana, so I'll be able to play Reckoner and Might. I'm glad I didn't pick up any more Mites. Come on. I'll do it myself. Down to four. They got the card advantage. They got five cards still. I just got two and a spider. And my average card quality is pretty low. Nothing like the great outdoors. You won't get past me. Slickly. I, 
Yeah, I don't have any decimates. Besides just drawing two Darius's. I'm worried about playing Katarina and then Katarina just dying right away. Like that. What a draw. Come on, Darius. Better not have another thermogenic beam. Come on. Okay, ready. I'm a peddler, not a meddler. They didn't block the spider. The spider. The spider for the forward. The spider for the forward. The four damage spider. Yeah, Pup puppy dogs, the four wind spider. Look how excited they are. Oh, there's puppy. Hey, Harvey. There's Harvey. All right, we got our seven win. So we had uh, 1,500 XP for getting the seven wins. Most XP you can have. Um, so that means we are going to be getting a champion capsule, not just a champion. Champion capsules are a lot better than just a just a random champion. Um, cause you know, you get, I think you get three rares, an epic and a champion and a champion capsule, if I remember correctly, but to figure out exactly what that is, um, we would have to retire and claim it. Um, but we have another trial to do first. So we're going to be playing this other trial first and then, uh, and then, you know, we'll see what our actual prizes is at the other one. Um, but yeah, now we can just draft a meme deck. Yep, for our next one, we can just draft a silly deck for trial number two. We'll uh, you know make something make something awesome for the YouTube channel, and uh, you know we already got locked into our seven wins. Um, so the reason why the second trial makes sense is because you can you can still if you get seven you know you still get the XP which you know you get how we just got the fifteen hundred XP for that seven win. That's a lot of XP. And doing this trial, you can get, you know, if we get seven wins again, we get the 1500 XP again, or, you know, you get XP based on however many wins you get. So it's still, it's, you know, it's a free draft, it's free practice, and you get all the XP, um, but we'll get the same re other reward at the end. Yeah, we could go seven and seven for bragging rights. I have never done that. I've never done seven and seven. I did my very first one. I went seven and six. The very first one I did. Um, but I've never done seven, seven. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. You have any either? You have a bunch of seven sixes? Yeah. I, cause I think I, I think I have other seven sixes, but I know the very first one. I remember that, but I, and I know I haven't done a seven, seven yet. All right. But so, uh, drafting all Noxus and just getting your attack on our deck was pretty powerful. Um, oh, do you think, oh, maybe, did I do a seven and seven in the first one? Maybe I did. It's possible I did actually. I don't remember. Um, but yeah, there we go. All right. So that's, that's the, uh, Noxen might is what I'm calling that expedition. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. I uh, hope you enjoyed this draft. We did really well with it. Um, yeah, please hit that like button on the video. I'd appreciate that. It helps, helps them share the videos and, uh, you know, also leave the comments. Let me know what you're doing in Expedition and how you liked the all Noxion deck. All right, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.